It's cold. It's minus two, but I will get my booster box. So everyone, here we go with the opening of the Ravnica Allegiance booster box that I got from my local game store, Dead Universe Comics. And you get a nice little promo when you buy it from the stores. You get the Haunt of Hightower. This looks pretty cool. Probably going to use it as a commander, to be honest. I mean, the stats are only 3-3, three, three, but uh, it does cost 6, so it's quite highly costly, but it's got Flying Lifelink. Uh, whenever it attacks, defending player discards a card, which is pretty sweet. Whenever a card is put into opponent's graveyard from anywhere, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So if you can give, like, mass, you know, discard to all your opponent's ones, this could get really big. Give it some protection. It's going to be a huge Flying Lifelink commander for you. Yeah, it costs six, does cost a lot, but it's still a very nice, sweet promo. But without further ado, let's start getting into the packs. So here we go with the first pack of the box. Will it be lucky? Here we go. Probably have a look at the commons um, in the first couple of packs, but then we'll just go straight to the good stuff because that's what we're all here for. You're here to see all the rares and mythics that hopefully we pull. I'd love to get some of those shock lands and I'd love to get some of those oozes. I want to build an ooze deck. It seems really, really cool. And of course, planeswalkers are always great to get hold of. So we start off with a Sphinx's Insight. Draw two cards. If you cast a spell during your main phase, you gain two life. It's pretty sweet. Sylvan Brush Rider. Consigned to Pit, Destroy Target, does got six that though for a sorcery. Spike Wheel, Acrobat, Shimmer of Possibility. I've been using that in some um, arena decks. Um, I think it's been, it's been pretty cool for me to be honest. Sort of a way for going through your deck. Look at the top four, put one in your hand and rest on the bottom. Pretty sweet card. Scuttle Gator, not going to try and pronounce that one because I'm going to butcher a lot of these names I'm sure. Burn Bright, Grasping Thrall. And we get to our first Uncommons. And we start off with Bankrupt in Blood there as additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice two creatures, but you do get to draw three cards. Token deck, very nice. Sacrifice some of those creatures and draw for two mana, very sweet. Flames of the Raised Boar. Buy Johnny Upgrade, the big cost in six mana sorcery, but it does put counters everywhere, which would be really, really sweet. And the first rare is Gruul, a Spellbreaker. Going to see some playing, I'm assuming, in red, green, aggro. Nicely costed, 3-3. Three, three. Has riot, so we can come down with haste or a counter. As long as it's your turn, you and Gruul, Spellspeaker, have... Spell see, I've started already. Spellspeaker, making up card names. Spellbreaker. It gets hexproof. Very sweet. And then we get a Gruul, a Gilgate. So, on to the second pack. Here we go. So there's a Mammoth Spider there. Paws off. Rakdos roundabout 3-2 for 3. Nice if perhaps you're drawing it in Limited as well. And perhaps you will be playing this in the, the aggro decks. Scorch Mark, nice for a common card. 2 damage to target creature. It gets to exile it though, which is pretty, pretty sweet. Sadro Savant. Griffin that I've been seeing everywhere in Limited Drafts on Arena. Clear the mind. Shuffle the graveyard. Draw a card. That was in my top five pauper common cards. I think it's a really cool card. Goblin Gathering. Tower Defense. Nice card. Basilica Bellhaunt. Double white. There's a lot of the double, you know, the manners. But we got mana. We, we can easily cast cards now in this standard set with all these shock lands and everything. Enraged Seratuk. And that's our first mythic. And it's a Planeswalker. It's Kaya. Oars of Unserpa. What a great pull. I wanted to put a Planeswalker. I, now, this has surprised me. This When I did the um, early access streamers event, thanks to Wizards for that, I put this in a card and I watched some replay of when I was, you know, from the other streams and they were saying, oh, it's so bad. Then they were like, actually, it's pretty good because they saw it did 10 damage in one turn. It got me back into the game saving life. I think this could be a little bit of a sleeper card. I quite like Karen. I'm definitely going to be playing with it. There's a Simic Guildgate. And my first foil is a stony strength. Very nice foily art there. Very nice, very nice. Chris Seaman is the artist. Pretty sweet. So the first foil. Right. Now let's start going through these packs. 
We've had a look at a few of the commons. I'm sure you've gone through all the set yourself so far. So, Arx Bees, Demon, Slime Bide, that's pretty nice. Um, Growth Spiral, pretty nice card as well. Draw a card, you may put a land card on. So, here we go for the uncommons. Smelt Ward Ignis. Gatebreaker Ram, it's a sheep. Clamor Shaman, and we get Theatre of Horrors. So, begin of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. During your turn, if opponent lost life this turn, you may play the cards exiled with the theatre. Pay four mana. Theatre of Horrors deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Three mana. It's not a bad card, I suppose. Will it see play? I'm not too sure. I'd like to say it would, but... I'm just not too sure on that one. Let me know what you think from all these cards. Which ones do you think will be playable from the set and which ones you're not? Do you think it's a good set? I'm really enjoying it at the moment, I must admit. So, Resolute Watchdog. Dovin's Aquity. Ends the battle, you gain two life and draw a card. When you card, you get to return it. I think this is pretty sweet, Dovin, this Dovin card. I really like the art there as well. Bastion, very nice art there. Sphinx of New Prav, so again, Azorius in this pack, without a doubt. And sticking with the blue, Precognitive Perception. I like this. Draw three cards, but if you cast it in your main phase, you get to scry three as well. Very, very strong card. Going to see as maybe, you know, ones of, possibly two of in control decks. I've been trying it as a one of. I do like it. And, um, yeah, I've been doing it in my main phase and scrying three. I, I just don't mind doing that if I've got other mana. You know, late on in the game, that's pretty sweet. And we get another foil. There's another lovely foil. Clan Guild Mage is this foil. Look at that sparkle. Very nice. Very nice. Put that in that pile there. So. Next pack. Here we go. Right. So we have a Storm Strike. Going to get through these. There's a Gruel, Chillbringer, good in limited. Summary Judgment. It's not a bad little removal spell for white. And then we have Essence Capture. Cry of the Coronarium. All creatures get minus two. Sweet card. Puts them in exile. That's what you want to do. Don't want them coming back from graveyards. Depose, deploy. Tap target creature, crawl card. Create two color stoppers. This is nice. Instant speed. Gain one life for each creature you control. So that's a definite swing back for control there. Getting them, maybe putting a few tokens down. Get a little bit of life and getting some blockers. Not too bad a card. And the rare... Oh my god, we've doubled up already. We've got another scroll Spellbreaker. So we know what this one does. 3-3 three, three with Riot. Going to go in the red-green aggro decks. Already pulled our first double up. And we're only a few packs in. Double up Kaya would have been nice. So, let's get to the packs, get through these. There is the best common in the set. It's Skua, the Critics. You're nearly rare status. You're going there. No, you're not. But you're a great card. Absolutely great cards. Making red go well over the top. Fireband Artist. We get a Consecrate Consume. And the rare. Yeah, we get one of the Shocklands. Hallowed Fountains. Add to my collection of fountains. Very, very nice. With a little guild gate behind. So that's the first land. I saw a few tweet um, things on Twitter where people saying they're only put, you know, someone did eight boxes and we're only putting two of the two of the lands perfect. Oh, there's another little skewer. Quench. Love that card. So root snare gonna be great. Well, not great for all us in those um taking turn extra decks. High alert. And we get another one. Well, that's our two. Are we going to get any more? Are we going to beat the trend? There's Blood Crypt. Simic Guildgate. Oh, I like putting these lands. I mean, I've got them all for modern anyway, but there's no harm having extras, is there? Just means you don't have to swap them out all your decks. So, you know, be able to keep them in the standard decks. Let's go through these. Act of Treason. So, we have a Cavalcade of Calamity. Oh, look at this. We've got a fish octopus. Fish octopus crab. Oh, yes, please. And the rare is a tomb of the guild pack. One of the multicolored artifact spell things. That you, so you play it for five mana. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, you get to draw a card and add one mana of any color. 
I mean, it's not too bad. Probably fit into some EDH decks, five mana cost, and it's not really going to get any standard play. Um, oh, we've got an emblem as well. Emblem for Domri. So where are you, Domri? Where are you? So yeah, as you saw at the start of the video, I went and supported my LGS. The booster box was a little bit dearer, but I don't mind. You got a nice promo out of it. And obviously supporting your shop is really good as well. Rhythm of the Wild is a bane for me as a control player. Oh, I hate that card. And we get End Raise Four Runners, 7-7 seven, seven, Vigilance Trample Haste. Uh, when it ends the battle, another creature good, plus 2-2 two, two, Vigilance Trample. Very nice. Probably maybe go is it maybe could go in a one of is in the green stompy. It's quite high end. Five triple green. Not really gonna go into anything else other than an EDH, I wouldn't have thought. So it's gonna go there. And we get oh, that's pretty nice then, because that see some play in EDH, and that's nice to have in a foil. Wilderness reclamation, the beginning of your end untap all land you control. So that is a pretty nice card to have as a foil. Pimp out pimp out the EDH decks. Right, come on. Let's get through these packs. There we go. Under the Uncommons. Senate Guild Mage. A Forbidden Spirit. And we get Verity Circle. I haven't seen this one. I must be. I didn't look at this one before. Whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card. So, yeah, if they become tapped, using Convoke, anything like that, you'll be able to draw a card. Tap target creature without flying, so you can actually pay five to draw a card, tapping maybe your opponent's creatures. Not, I don't know, don't know. I don't think that I see any play, to be honest. They didn't really print a lot of Convoke cards when they did them before. Grove Spire, another little Grove Spire. So, Junk Roller. Borak, Windstorm, Drake, and the fun card. I've built a fun deck around this on Arena. You will see on the channel very soon. Um, awaken the erstwhile. Each player discards their cards in their hand and create that many 2-2 two -two black zombie tokens. So I've got a deck where I'm just drawing, drawing loads of cards. Reliquy Towers, you know, putting that together so I don't have to discard my hand and just cracking this off. I've won a few games of it. You're going to see it on the channel very soon. It's absolute jank. But it will be fun to watch. Which is what magic's about. Having a bit of fun. Get in focus. Here we go. No, onto the uncommons. So Tin Street Dodger, Sphinx of the Guild Pack, Clown Guild Mage, and we get a very nice love Sphinx of Foresight. Of course it's blue, I love it. But the ability to scry in three, potentially beginning of your upkeep is brilliant. Scry in one got that faster attraction there. Flying 4-4 four, for four, four. Very, very nice. Gruel Gilgate. And another foil. Civic Stalwart. There we go. Go in the nice pile there. Right, on to the next pack. What will we draw? We've already had a nice Planeswalker. Can I get the blue one? Can I get the Dovan? If you know me, guys and girls, you know I love my blue. Drill bit, nice card. Not really thought of these, but still sweet. And then we get our first split card rare, which is Revival Revenge. I like the double your life title and target opponent loses half their life. I mean, that's just going to be absolute banter in some sort of deck. EDH, you know, with, was it, uh, the enchantments when every time you gain life, opponents lose life. And that's going to be really cool. And Revive as well, return target creature cover covered in mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. There's a little guild gate. Right. So how did you get on in all your pre-releases? Unfortunately, I got to work. I rushed out this morning just to get a booster box. I've got to go to work after this video is recorded. Um, swirling Torrents, I hope you had a great pre-release. And we get Emergency Powers. Nice mythic there. Each player shuffles their hand, graveyard into the library, and then draws seven cards. Uh, but if you, you do it with addendum, you get to put a big permanent onto the battlefield as well. So that, you know, that's a pretty sweet card. Hope to see. I hope that would see play. I'd love it. It's going to go in EDH decks potentially and stuff like that. I think this set is a great set for EDH. I keep saying it. EDH and Pauper, I think, you know, it's, it's a pretty good set for that. Roost Snare. What else we got? So we got a Regenesis. Nice card. Another Windstorm Drake. Guild Mage, and we've beaten the, we've beaten the trend. We got our third land there, Stomping Ground. 
Very, very nice. Very nice. Look at that land. Look at that land. And there's another. Oh, let's give the Simic Gilgate some love as well. Simic Gilgate, you get some love. Three lands. We've beaten the trend. We've beaten the trend. So, it may not even be a trend. It's just something I saw on Instagram. Not Instagram, Twitter. Too many social networks. Shaman. And we get Unbreakable Formation. Yes, with the right name. Someone put this as, I don't know what they put it as when it first came out, but they translated it wrong. But it, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, creatures you can train, you indestructible, you turn it, addendum, put on a counter on. You won't mind playing this in your main phase to get a 1 1 counter, and they still get, you know, they get vigilance. I just think it's a pretty cool card. It's going to see, you know, get the final attacks through in some aggro y sort of decks. Probably could play it as a two of, three of. Essentially, you know, puts counters on indestructible vigilance. It's not bad. Helps you against rafts as well. You know, the new one, Chaos, that we hope to pull. Right, there we go. Get to the point. Right. Get to the point. Rally to the battle. Another cry. Sweet card. Another Dovin's Equity. And we get another Planeswalker. Wow, this box is cool. Two Planeswalkers, three lands. So we get Domri, Chaos, Bringer into the fold here. Lovely. Plus one. Add a green or a red mana. If it's spent on a creature, they're going to get the riot. So they come down with haste or a counter. Very nice. Minus three. Get to look through your deck and do that. And the minus eight. At the beginning of each end step, create a 4-4 red and green beast creature token with trample. Get that onto the field. Add in a bit of white. Put the divination in there. Oh, it's going to be banter. Wow, this box has already turned out to be pretty smart. We've got like two planeswalkers, three lands. We got the great Scry 3 um, flying as it shrinks thing. That's really cool as well. So let's get through these. Get to our uncommon. So we have a Skatewing, Skatewing Spy, another Biogenic Upgrade, Azorius Sky Cards, and we get a Mirror March. I'm sure this is going to get some janky builds around it. I'm sure Saffron Olive is going to be built around this. Whenever an on token is battlefield under your control, flip a coin. If you lose a flip, for each flip you won, create a token. Those creatures get haste, then you have to exile them. It's going to be a fun card. Ramp it out, get it out there, and get some great cards to get copies of. It's, it's a fun card. Going to be in some sort of janky brews. People will try play it in arena and stuff like that when you pull them from your... You know, you get them from your packs that you win. That's what's good about arena sometimes. You know, you just play with cards that you really wouldn't play with before. So, let's get to the uncommons. So, we got uh, Ministry of Obligation. Light up the stage. I do like this card. Um, I think I've put it in my Rakdos Burn deck that you might have seen the gameplay from. If you haven't, go and check that out. There will be links below and probably things popping up everywhere. I'm thinking of adding this in for the spectacle cost. I think it's really cool. I've, I've lost to actually people playing this and then burning me off the top with it. So, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Oh, Rhythm of the Wild. Oh. And then Rampage of the Clans. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Um, if you watch the streams, up, I did a funny deck with this. Making loads and loads and loads of enchantments. Cheap enchantments and artifacts out and then destroying all my stuff. And then just attacking in for the win. So on to the next pack. Here we go. So we have a Wilderness Reclamation, a Deposed Deploy, Clamor Shaman, and the rare is, oh it's another Cyborg's one, Thrash and Threat, target creature you control deals damage to power target creature or planeswalker you don't control, and then you get to create a 4-4 token as well, that's not too bad, that's pretty sweet. Let's get on to the next pack. Here we go. Right. Let's work our way through these commons. Let's get to the uncommon. So we have a Mercabri Mockery. Gates Ablaze. Knight of Last Breath. And the rare... Ah, oh, last I get my first great count spell. Absorb. Count Tark spell. Gain three life. Cracking card. Really helps you against aggro decks because that three life is absolutely epic. Um, but this to me is a great card. Reprint, love it. 
and Arakdos Gilgate is there as well. Next pack. Still got quite a few packs to go. And, so I need to speed up a bit, you know. Here we go. So, a Rambling Ruin, Screaming Shield, Sphinx of the New Prav, and Glass of Gilpat. These are these artifacts I'm talking about that interact with multicolored spells. This gives all your multicolored creatures a plus a one, a plus one. So, you know, a certain sort of deck can be made with them. There's plenty of multicolored creatures in the format to, you know, sort of play them. And only costing two as well. It's pretty cheap to get down turn two and then start putting your creatures down. This is Gare to the Grove Spiral. Uh, Sentinel's Mark. Flame of the Rage Ball. Syndicate Guild Mage. And we get a Bedevil. Destroy target artifact creature or planeswalker. With all this C plan, a little bit of modern, maybe in Jun, you got, you know, sort of Maelstrom pulses and stuff like that. But instant speed for three mana. Hero's Downfall, you know, sees a bit of cyborg play. I think this is a pretty cool card. The fact that you can destroy artifact creature or planeswalker makes it strong. Definite play and standard. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. So many removal cards in standard. But the creatures are just so, so quick. So, let's get to the next uncommons. Arachdos Firewaller, Vindicate Vampire. And we get the little one-drop Werfolk Wizard Mutant. It's a uh, Ben Thick Biomancer. Uh, it's got Adapt feature, which is when a uh, creature has no counters, you can pay that mana and then put the counters on it. One more counters are put on it, you get to draw a card, then discard a card. So, yeah, it's for a one-drop. That's got a lot of text in it and a lot of abilities. It's pretty cool. Ors of Gilgate. Right, on to the next one. Wouldn't mind pouring some more of those lands. Those lands would be nice if we could get some more of them. Come on, get in focus. That's it. Right. Clear the mind. So we got switching a torrent. Frilled a mystic. The fish octopus crab. And we get a Judith Scourge Diva. Yes, I'm building around this in EDH. Great card. This is coming up in the red aggro decks. Gives all your other creatures plus one, plus naught. It's a sweet card. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, this deals one damage to any target, which is really cool. So pick off creatures, or it can just hit your opponent as well. Very nice card. Judith, you will see Commander play from me, and you will be beat round. Here we go. Next ones. Let's get to these uncommons. There we go. So, Tower Defense. All you arcade decks are going to be loving it. Zertar Goblin, Hacrobat, and Smothering Tithe. Maybe four costed a little bit dearer, but it's a cool card. When an opponent draws a card, that player has to pay two. If the player doesn't create a colours artifact token. So it can help you ramp out a little bit. Four mana. I think it's a cool card. It's going to see some play in you know, some fun decks, built decks. You'll see an arena where people will be playing that for sure. So, prepare to see some tithes. On to the next pack. Such a big pile of packs there. Right, let's get through. About time we had another foil as well. So, we've got Archway Angel. We've got Code of Constraint. Uh, Basilica Bellhorns. And our rare is Guardian Project. Okay, so whenever non-token enter battlefield on your control, it doesn't have the same name as another creature control. You get to draw a card. I tell you, what, I played against this in Limited yesterday, and this absolutely battered me. Absolutely battered me. It the opponent just drew every card. It was just amazing. It was just so perfect for that. Oh, and our foil. Oh, not foil. Not the stomping ground. It's a double gill gate and one's foil. Double gill gate. Oh, foil stomping ground would have been great. But we got the poorer one of the two. So, dead drills. Let's get through. Oh, here we go. Oh, possibly another foil. It's quite thick here. Dagger Caster. Resolute Watchdog. Eros Thorotok. And we get a Rakdos Showstopper. Banter card. Banter card. When the Showstopper ends the battle, flip a coin for each creature that isn't a demon, devil, or imp. And then you destroy all those creatures if it comes up tails. I mean, that's just absolutely hilarious. Fun, fun, Commander. I've said that. I did a little highlight on this card. It's just absolutely hilarious. 
We get a Simic. And we get a foil. Ooh, it's the foil. It's our foil mythic. It's captive audience as the foil. Ends about under your control, opponent of your choice that you have to pick them, then they have to choose one that hasn't been chosen. It's just an absolute game winner. Give every opponent two two black zombies, five of them. Hilarious. Uh, love total becomes four, or they have to discard their hands. They have to keep choosing one. So uh, this is a cracking card. An absolutely gorgeous in foil as well. So what we got left? Three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's eight packs left. Here we go. The last few packs. And then I'm going to have to sort out all my cards. Don't think I've drawn any more. I might have missed a skewers, but I, I can't remember putting a lot more skewers. I've gone through these quite quickly, though. And we get a, a Nicker of the Old Ways. So another legendary creature. So it can be used, obviously, for Commander. Nice costed. 5-5 five, five for 5. Uh, you can't cast non-creature spells, though. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana of that type that land produced. So going to be great in a big, rampy, creaturey sort of deck. Really nice. Um, C play? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Like I said, go in the comments. Let me know your pulls. Let me know how you've got on with it. Let me know your brews as well. Which cards out? You know, which cards do you want me to build around? I'd really love to know that. Hopefully, you're still here watching the video. And we get a um, what's that one? Repudiate, repudiate, and replicate. Well, I can say replicate. Hopefully, I pronounced the other one right and not butchered it too much. But yeah, counter target activate or trigger ability. Great for simic control there, and create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. So I can, you know, I can. I've got a little brew coming with that. I think I'm thinking about that. There's a great card in standard at the moment. The one double blue. What's it called? Quad quasi. Quasi Caplate or something that like Quasi, the one that copies stuff that can maybe go in a deck with that, and then you can just do do it loads of times. Seems really fun. So here we go: Smelt Ward, Ignis, Spirit of the Spires, High Alert, and I keep having to have to turn these. So we get a Warrant or wa Warrant Warden, target attacking blocking creature, um, attacking all blocking goes on top of his own library. So that's great, for, you know, tempo stopping the tempo when you're a bit of control player. And Warden creating a 4 4 white blue sphinx. That's not too bad. I mean, that's a little bit of a finisher. You know, there's a little celestial colonnade. It's obviously no celestial colonnade. But, you know, modern decks do use that to win with as a creature. Can't really compare it to celestial colonnade, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. So, Gateway Sneak. Screaming Shield. Gay Colossus. Yes, and we get another land. Oh, four lands. That's wicked. Godless Shrine. Love it. And a foil. Debitor's Transport. Debtor's Transport. Look at that big thrall. It's a big thrall. And an illusion token. Which is pretty sweet as well. Right, we got four packs to go. Overall, I've been very happy with this box. I wasn't doing a run in, you know, is it worth it, you know, value sort of one. Because the cards have just come out and they're going to be worth a lot more than they should be at the moment. So you don't get a true reflection of what they're actually worth. Cindervines. So, Cindervines, when an opponent casts a non creature spell, it deals one damage to that player. Great against control for the you know, red-green decks to bring in. Absolutely brilliant. And you can destroy target enchantment or artifact and it deals two damage to that permanent controller. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool card. Not too bad at all. Like I said, it's going to be good against control decks. All they do is cast non-creature spells. So, you know, doing that, sweet. Right. Down, this is the last third to last pack. And we get Electro Dominance. Uh, deals X damage to any target. You may cast a card with coming across X or less without paying it you know cost as well pretty cool so final two packs final two packs here we go right are they gonna be lucky oh light up the stages there nearly went past that scrambling claws and we get oh yes i got one at last it got down to the final two packs to get the four mana wrath in standard Destroy all creatures. You gain life equal to the number of creatures you control that were destroyed this way. Great card. Gonna see heaps of play. 
you need this. You're facing against all these creature decks. Chaos Wrath is what you need. And we get another foil, a pretty red foil there. Spike Wheel, Acrobat, 5-2, has Spectacle, just like a vanilla creature. But always like getting a foil. Right. So it's the last pack. Last pack, last pack. What are we going to pull? It's been a very sweet box. Got two Planeswalkers, got four of the lands. I really can't complain at all. Let's go out with a boom. What are we going to get? Arcway Angel. Eyes everywhere. Ah, oh, that might be our first Mortify. Mortified. And we go out with an Incubation Druid. I was going to slow roll it there, but I didn't. Uh, add one mana of any type that land control can produce. If Incubation has 1 1 counter, add three mana of that type. Also has Adapts where you can get three counters. It's got Adapt 3 for 5 mana. And there's no foil, but we end. With the best colours in Magic, Azorius with the Guild Gates. So that was my booster box opening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy with it. I'm going to have to sort out all these cards. we got a nice foil mythic there in Captive Audience. Um, planeswalkers. Let me just see if I can pull the Planeswalkers out here. There they are. So we got Kea and we got Domri. Very, very nice. A fair share of lands as well, so we bucks that trend that I saw. That we, we, you know, we got four lands in that. Really, really good pulls. Love the box. Thanks to my local game store, Dead Universe Comics, for providing me with this. Absolutely great. Um, I always try and buy my products from there, which is why I, you know, you see from the start of the video, I went there, put my hard-earned cash across, support your LJ. Sometimes it does cost a little bit more. But, you know, it helps keep them open. It means you can go there and play all your magic with all your friends. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you are new to us, hit that subscribe button. It really does help. And if you liked what you see, you can hit the like button. Really would appreciate it. See you in the comments, and I'll see you on the next video.